Hello, better known to win here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Breath of Fire 4. In this episode, we're going to explore the cliff. This is a short little area that we got to get through before we uh, can get to Sarai. Let's see. We have to go over these cliffs to get to Sarai. Let's hurry and try to get over them before... Okay, yeah. Good idea, Nina. But yeah, in this, in this area, we can only move the camera 90 degrees, which is a load of horse shit. I don't know why they don't fucking let you do it more than that. Alright, we have a new enemy here. Our first battle. This enemy right here is called a cat. If you want more information on this enemy, you can hit the square button. These ducks are usually quite peaceful and rarely attack. So, I don't know, we could, uh, we could attack them normally. You can hit R1 to go over to charge and escape. Basically, charge is auto battle. Your characters will automatically attack with their melee weapons. Or you can try and run from the battle with escape. Um, yeah, you can attack normally. You can use your special. In Nina's case, she has magic she can use. She doesn't have any skills yet. Uh, you can use items. And you can guard. Interesting thing about guard is, uh, well, it, it functions as guard did in Breath of Fire 3, but it also functions as examine as well. So if you remember in Breath of Fire 3, there was a separate command function for examine. Basically, guard and examine are combined into one action. In, in this game. So if you're trying to examine enemy skills to learn them, all you have to do is guard. So there you go. And then also, if you want Ryu to be to go before Nina, what you have to do is you ha you can use the D-pad to move left or right in between the characters. You can actually have Ryu, once I hit the button there, go before Nina. Even though Nina has higher agility than Ryu, I can actually have Ryu go first. And this will factor into doing combos later on but yeah anyways yeah I don't want Ryu to go first I actually want oh no no there we go I want Nina to attack and Ryu to guard I can't remember if this guy has a skill that we can learn but I'm gonna try it here come on do something no don't attack come on man do something. I don't, yeah, he's not doing it, whatever it is. Fuck it, you're gonna die now. Oh, this battle team, by the way. Very good, I like it. I think it's very good. Alright, so if we go that way, that doesn't lead anywhere, so let's just go this way. Yeah, there's a satchel up there on the cliff. So we're going to have to make our way up there. So you got to manipulate the camera to see where you can go. Alright, another new enemy, Igu. These guys are in Breath of Fire 2 and 3. I don't know if they were in the first game, but... Yeah, these guys are pretty familiar if you played those other games. Anyways, this guy right here... Yeah, like other Goos, are lazy and often rest. So, what I want to do to make these guys use rest, is I want to attack them once, have Ryu guard. I don't want to kill the thing. So, yeah, I just want to have Nina guard. Ryu guard, hopefully Nina learns it. Come on, aren't you going to use rest? Come on, damn it. Okay, the enemies are being fucking retarded and not using it. Okay, well, I just have to get it 
the next time I run into one of those guys. But yeah, you can learn an ability called Rest, which I actually want Nina to learn because it'll restore a decent amount of HP and AP for her. And yeah, I want her to have that for these earlier parts. And I don't want to go over there yet. I want to freaking learn that goddamn skill already. Come on, you turd. Use the fucking skill already. This is bullshit. Use the fucking skill! You don't want to use it. There we go. Freaking took long enough. But yeah, that's Rust. And Nina's the character that learned it, which is great. That means I don't have to use an orm to switch it over to her. So let's just attack. Or actually, I'll just show off some magic. I'll show off Seaver. And Ryu, he can guard. Yeah, now I don't have to worry about her AP as much. So, yeah, that's all I wanted from that part there. Oh. Looks dangerous. Alright, sounds easy enough. Yeah. Nice job. Whoa. Don't you just love that feeling you get looking down from a high place like this? It makes me dizzy. It's so exciting. Oh man, wait a minute Ryu, she has wings on her back, she has wings on her back, put two and two together, she has wings on her, oh man, <laughs> dumbass, that was very heroic though, but you didn't need to do that man. Yes, it was. Stupid, but brave nonetheless. can't actually slash that thing. Looks like we can, but we can't. But yeah, we need to go over to this cave. Where we're gonna go Betty by. For a little bit.
Yeah, he has no purpose. Nice little transition they do here. I like it. So yeah, this game has a lot more like cinematic qualities to it than Breath of Fire 3 did. Which is kind of nice, but that ultimately doesn't make a better game, that's for sure. Wow. Is Dracula coming back from the... Uh... Whoa. Who's this guy? It's not Dracula. Kind of looks like Sephiroth. So the time hath come. Majesty. What, this guy's royalty? Something is amiss. Why is the dog talking? Or maybe it's a wolf, I don't know. Uh, because nobody's here. Tis not of import, they are mortals. Were we, t were we to attempt to understand their mind, we should spend an eternity. There be more pressing matters to attend to. Canst thou not sense it? The presence? Tis far and still slumbering. Oh. What, are you t what is this guy talking about? This guy's name... Okay, the wolf's name is Wang Ku. Interesting name. So yeah, they have uh, the old English going on here, I guess. With their, uh, their speech. Alrighty, so now we are controlling... Fulu, or Faulu, and as you can see, this guy is insanely fucking powerful. He's like level 64. He's got HP up the ass, and AP and CP. I, you know, I can't remember what the fuck CP does in this game. I'm gonna have to look that up and get back to you. But yeah, this guy, um, he's pretty fucking powerful. That chest right there, do not get it right now. Uh, right now with. Fao Lu, uh, his inventory does not transfer over to your main party, so whatever items you get are basically wasted, in other words. So, yeah, do not get any treasure chests with Fao Lu. If you see it, ignore it. Like, it's not even there. And yeah, over here, uh, when you get to parts where you can actually jump across, you'll see like a marker. Oh boy, different battle music too. And we have a new enemy, Zorus. This monster eats anything and everything. It loves eggs. We'll find out more about that later. But anyways, let's attack with Faulu here. Yeah, as you can see, he's powerful as fuck. Uh, can I... Oh, okay, I can't do that yet. But I will. Yeah, right now all we can do is attack. And I love how he just turns around and walks away like that. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Don't get it. Who goes there?
dragon supposed to appear tonight? <laughs> they say it's the legendary dragon of doom, which will bring ruin to the empire. What empire would that be? Wow, these guys think they're going to destroy it, huh? Oh, really? Ooh. So, is Fao Lu here, is she summoning a dragon, or is this dragon that he's summoning, like, him? as well. I don't know. A little confusing. Seek to fight a volcano. Wow. So they're like gods then? Excessive force wins the day. Yeah, that was a little unnecessary, huh? But what does Ryu have to do with this guy? Why is he waking up? Why is he having nightmares about this guy? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that crater is that uh, that hole that we're seeing right now is where those guys used to be. So, uh, needless to say, they're, um, no longer with us. So, yeah, this, uh, Falu character, he's a very narcissistic, uh, individual. He, uh... He's very, very, uh... Well, he's very confident. He's all about himself. So, yeah, I don't know. Th this game is different in the fact that, you know, like, the other, the other Breath of Fire games, like, the brood of the dragons were like a race of people. And in this game, they kind of made them into, like, godlike creatures, which I don't know if I really like. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I really like how they, how they changed the story and the world in this game. I liked it better before when, like, the dragons were just a race of people. You know, just like they had the Warren tribe and the, the winged people. And what is this? Question mark here, yay. Eh?
Yeah, the environments in this game are cramped, too. They don't even look as good as they did in Breath of Fire 3. I'd say the, the battles for the... or the graphics for the battles? Definitely better than Breath of Fire 3. But, um... Yeah, everything else, not as good. Sorry to say, but that's just what I think. They're not horrible graphics, they're just not as good. Oh, no, they, they just seem a lot more colorful and inviting in, in the third game, as opposed to this one. And who is this guy with the bozo nose? We saw this guy in the opening cutscene of the game in the first episode. worth <laughs> yeah they go a little bit crazy with the fucking old English here which I, I guess is supposed to make sense because this character is supposed to be like really old he's supposed to be like from from like fucking like just th like thousands of years before like the present day What? Greet him with malice? What are you talking about? You mean they want to kill the Emperor? I sense a mutiny! And I guess we'll just have to find out how this mutiny works out for the mutineers in the next episode. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.